right, welcome back. So today we are getting the bashers put back together. All of these ones with the lids off have already been gone through. Um, I have all the body shells off stacked up there, stacked up over there, along with the big rock platform and the Vortec or the Haas. So the big rock and the Haas. I've basically cleaned, washed, prepped, um, conditioned the plastics on all of them. So on my bashers, it's just the way I do it. They were getting pretty hammered. So it was at the point where I had to go over and get them all nut and bolt checked, all put back together, all cleaned back up. And just getting ready to uh, start taking them out for the summer months, making sure everything's okay. Here's the EXB. And if you remember, the EXB was pretty hammered last time we took it out. So we have the Creighton with the Max 5 Coke can motor. Actually, that's the Outcast. Because the Creighton has the M2C chassis in it. Coke can motor, castle fans with the Mamba Monster X8S. And then that's my original X-Max. As you see, shocks are all cleaned back up. Suspension, we went ahead and um, fixed it. We got the hubs put on it along with getting the hubs put on this one. So this one's also got the aluminum hubs and the RPM stuff taken off. So the red hubs on the inside. This one's got the red hubs on the inside. So all the RPM junk are off of them. I still have to clean up that one. I still got to clean up my other Creighton. So there's a few RCs that I have to do today to get ready. I have the Super Baja Ray that's got to get cleaned up. I have the Losi, my gas powered Losi, and my 5T all have to be cleaned up. So, and then the original Super Baja Ray, I have to get that one ready as well. So the other ones, my other Losis are up there. The original Losi is broke. I got to get hubs on that. I know I ordered hubs. So that's the last one that needs repair. Um, and then it will get cleaned up. But both of those need to get cleaned up. And of course the UDR at the top. I have to get that one cleaned up, put back together. But yep, that's what uh, I'll be doing today. Is getting these bashers all cleaned up, put back together. Get the lids cleaned up and put back on. I figured I'd take you guys along for the process. So we'll be right back. I'm gonna get some stuff organized, show you how I do this. All right. I like to, when they get this muddy or this dirty, 
this is really the only way to get them clean and then I'll have to go through, tighten everything up. I'm gonna blow everything off, make sure everything's fixed. Now these. You can see the mud coming out of that. Look at that. Look at the mud in there. Cheap turtle wax products. Now once you wash it that heavily, once uh, they're soaked like that, uh, you can't, uh, can't use them for a day or so. You gotta let them dry out. So what we're gonna do now, oh, forgot the little uh, granite, but
that's it. Go ahead and blow everything dry. Make sure you get all the rocks, nooks, crannies out. This one I noticed that the sway bar end link came off and needs to be popped back on. I don't think it broke. Yeah, it just popped off. So you want to look them over while you're doing it. I got to put this bumper back on, which is a common thing. I actually have to reinforce this plastic and shoe goo the front of this um, because they do uh, break off of hard landings. So that's the way I do it. And uh, when they get too bad, you know, they get tossed on the ground in the in the. in the garage and then it's time to go through them it's time to clean them up go through them the kids use them we all use them and i've been doing it this way for years you can see the shocks are leaking on the back of this one so they're getting all oily And if you can keep this crud out of here, people tend to forget is that they bashed them real hard and then they'll run them and run them. Oh no, I don't wash my RTs. I just, uh, I just repair them when they break. Problem with that is they're breaking because of all the sand and garbage that's in all, all this plastic. And that's why they're breaking. So if you get all the, the sand and garbage out of it, when you go to run it, it's nice and lubed up, doesn't have all those rocks in it, and uh, you normally find broken stuff when doing this. I always try to get into the diff areas to see if the diffs are leaking, because they'll gum up there. The shocks, try to get everything out of the shock shafts, all the grease. You know, even from assembly, they uh, they literally will uh, have assembly lube. You know, all the different oils on it. And when that happens, you're running it, it's collecting sand. Nice and simple.
conditions all the plastic. We're gonna let this sit for 12 hours and then we're gonna blow them off. Try to hit all the plastic stuff. Metal stuff really don't need any of this stuff, plastic or rubber. That's it. I'm sure this is a longer video, but there we go, guys. Let me know what you think. This is how I clean them up. Basically the bashers, as you see, plastic's not oily at all it's just refreshed nothing shiny you see the wheels turn out normal all of these have been done with the same process these were just done a couple days ago because I plan on using them so there we go guys like comment subscribe and we will see you guys on my next video thanks for watching